Queen's Park Rangers have taken a liking to away games more than their home matches recently, but on their latest road trip across the capital, they didn't enjoy the best of afternoons. At Crystal Palace, Martin Rowlands had two early chances to put them in front, perhaps having taken one too many touches for the first one. When Mark Nygaard set him up again, Rowlands decided to try and beat Palace keeper Ian Turner first time. QPR were made to rue the misses by the Eagles. There have been some eyebrows raised at Shevki Kuchi's success, or lack thereof, since signing for Palace for £2.5 million from Blackburn in August. This display, though, showed his potential qualities. He set up Dougie Friedman for the opener on 13 minutes. Kuchi's all-out action show was too much for Damien Stewart, and Friedman's classy finish followed his late equaliser at Wolves in midweek. The home nerves were examined, though, before the first half was up, QPR had an incredible chance to level. Ray Jones cross headed goalward by Dexter Blackstock. Mark Nygaard got his arrival all wrong. Just after the half hour, Peter Taylor's team created breathing space for themselves. The same partnership did the trick, this time role reversal. Dougie Friedman playing in Shefki Kuchi for 2-0. The Finn had only scored twice for his new team prior to this one, but his boss called his performance on the day immense especially having not started a home game since the middle of October. In the second half, Kuchi brought out a party piece for his doubters as he set off on a solo mission to do damage to Rangers. His shot was parried by Simon Royce, straight to Joby McEnough. He didn't keep his cool. But Palace still finished with a third goal and a comprehensive result over their West London guests. McEnough won possession and found captain Michael Hughes. He released Tom Saws, who kept things flowing for Clinton Morrison. Taylor thinks his side, who are now 16th, can still make the playoffs. His mood boosted by Palace now going four games unbeaten.